This is Rob Marchant from Clive Emerson Land and Property Auctioneers and we're in Totland on the Isle of Wight out towards the western end of the island close to the Needles and we're here to look at Seven Gables, the former care home situated in uh, front of us. Unfortunately at the uh, time of shooting we don't have uh, internal access so uh, we can't show you the uh, inside of the building but uh, there will be viewing appointments available for anyone that uh, would like to come and have a look at the scope and potential of the property from the inside but uh, for now we'll give you an external tour give you some idea of the accommodation on offer uh, as you can see ahead of us it's uh, would have started life as a magnificent uh, Victorian gentleman's residence as they were known in those days uh, lovely family home set over three floors undoubtedly would have had servants quarters uh, more recently it's traded as a care home, uh, over 20 residence uh, rooms, most of which have ensuite cloakroom facilities, but uh, is now closed down and uh, vacant and ready to move on to the next stage of its life, whether that's back in the uh, care sector or perhaps as a fantastic family home or converted into residential apartments, or whatever else uh, one might want to do, subject of course to all the required consents being obtainable. Uh, in addition to the main building situated ahead of us. There is also a large two-storey extension which has been added to the rear. We'll pop round to the back and have a look at that momentarily. It's a huge scope and potential here, lovely location. So let's uh, head on down the driveway and uh, have a look at what the property's got from the rear elevation. As we start on to the uh, side elevation, perhaps scope and potential for a driveway here. Somebody wanting to consider perhaps seeking planning in the rear, subject so of course to all the uh, required consents being obtainable. And a swimming pool here, which hasn't been in use for many years, and the chalet bungalow will, I'm sure, have perhaps been built on the uh, original plot for Seven Gables, but that's now. Nothing to do with this particular lot, but the um, building directly ahead of us is, that's part of the care home. This was an extension built uh, some years ago, the uh, top floor um, there with the Velux windows. That's most re recently been in use as a two bedroom star flat with further residence uh, accommodation on the lower floor. You see the uh, linkway there between the two buildings. And then again, as we look at the back of Seven Gables from the rear here, some idea of the size and scale of the accommodation within the main house. As indicated, unfortunately, we can't uh, get access to the building today for the purpose of the video, but um, get a view of the seal cross in the distance. So you can imagine from the upper floors of Seven Gables, that is quite a spectacular view out across the Solent back towards the mainland. So now as we work our way up through the gardens to the rear, and we can look back at the size and extent of the main building and the previously mentioned extension at the side, balcony on the end of the uh, upper floor accommodation. Clothes drying area. And separate pedestrian access back out onto the Right at the top. And as mentioned, access here to the flat. And then back round showing the ground floor linkage between the two parts of the building. Now we're out on the road at the side of Seven Gables, again a indication of the 
proximity of the sea and the uh, views which are available from the upper floors of the building. As we look back, having come out of that side pedestrian access and working our way up the side of the building. And again, a good indication of the uh, size and scope of the property. Again, a further pedestrian gate. As we head back round towards the main entrance on York Lane, where we started. So in summary, this is Seven Gables. Fantastic uh, opportunity for somebody to put this back as a fantastic single dwelling, perhaps with uh, extended family or dependent relatives in mind. Or well, there must of course be scope for flat conversion or other thoughts and ideas subject of course to all the require consent to being obtainable but uh, don't miss out on the opportunity to bid for Seven Gables when it appears in the next Clive Emson online land and property auction.